Hey guys, your story for today is just you and me. It's a super special story to me because my mom and my sister, we always used to read this story together and it was one of our favorites. So I hope you enjoy. It's written by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Ivan Bates. Once there was a little gosling goose and her name was Little Goosey. One day, Little Goosey and Big Gander Goose, who looked after her, set out to walk down the river. They hung on far when the wind began to blow. Gander Goose looked up at the dark clouds racing across the sky and said, A storm is coming. We'd better find a place to hide. A nice warm place, just for me and you, said Little Goosey. Just us, said Gander Goose, a place where we can rest until the storm is over. And they hurried into the woods looking for a place to hide. Will there be thunder when the storm comes? asked Little Goosey. Well, yes, there could be some thunder, said Gander Goose. Soon they found a hole in a ditch, but there was someone in there already. A small gray whiskered mouse. She was hiding from the storm, too. You can stay in here with me if you like, said the moose. Little Goosey whispered to Gander Goose, I don't want anybody else when the thunder comes, just me and you. Gander Goose thanked the small gray whiskered mouse. It's a bit too damp in here for us, he said. You're very kind, but I think we'll look for someplace else. Goodbye. When the other two had gone, the mouse saw some wet moss growing up the walls. It is a bit damp in here, she thought to herself. I'll look for a better place, too. Little Goosey and Gander Goose went farther into the woods, <clears throat> excuse me, looking for a place to hide. They found a hole among the roots of a tall tree, but there was someone in there already, a squirrel with a high, proud tail. Would you like to stay in here with me? said the squirrel. Little Goosey, Goosey whispered to Gander Goose, but I don't want anybody else, just me and you. Gander Goose thanked the squirrel with the high, proud tail. I can see daylight above our heads, he said. You're very kind, but I think we'll look for someplace else. Goodbye. When the other two had gone, the squirrel looked up and saw the sky through the trunk of the hollow tree. The rain could easily run in through that hole, he thought to himself. I'll try to find a better place, too. <clears throat> Little Goosey and Gander Goose ventured farther into the woods. They found an interesting cave among the rocks, but a rabbit with furry ears had found it before them. We could all stay here together if you like, said the rabbit. Little Goosey nestled into the soft feathers of Gander Goose and said quietly, I don't want there to be anybody else when the thunder comes, just me and you. Gander Goose thanked the rabbit with furry ears. There are too many stones in here for us, he said. You're very kind, but I think we'll look for someplace else. Goodbye. When the other two had gone, the rabbit couldn't find a space to lie down comfortably. It is too stony in here, she thought to herself. I'll look for a better place, too. Little Goosey was beginning to feel tired after all that searching for a place to hide, but then they found a hole behind a bush at the bottom of a hill. This looks like a good place to be out of the storm, said Gander Goose, and there's no one here. Just us, yawned Little Goosey. She made a tunnel under some blown-in leaves so that she wouldn't hear the thunder if it came, and she lay down to sleep. Look how sweet. The storm arrived. A great wind blew through the trees and the rain came down. In the fields and in the woods, no one could be seen, for they were all hiding from the storm. I hope they all found a new place. The dark clouds passed over, the wind died down, and soon the skies were clear again. Little Goosey blinked in the ray of sunlight shining into the hole. 
Then she heard someone behind her. This was a good place to hide from the storm, said the small gray whiskered mouse. It was, agreed the squirrel with the high, proud tail. A very good place to hide from the storm, said the rabbit with furry ears. The mouse, the squirrel, and the rabbit waved goodbye and then ran off into the woods. This is a good place to hide from the storm, little Goosey laughed. For all of us, Gander Goose looked out at the tree, still dripping after all the rain. It was, and now... I think we'll walk to the river, he said. Just us? asked Little Goosey. Gander Goose smiled and said, Just you and me. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love and miss you all so much.